Hello and welcome to Basketball with Steve. In today's episode, we will be discussing the most athletic players in NBA history. Oh, it's over! It's over, ladies and gentlemen! Oh, my God! Oh, a spectacular move! Oh, oh, in this video, I have players in which I believe are the most athletic players in NBA history. If you would like to add on to this list, just let me know in the comment section below. Please keep in mind this list is in no particular order. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin. Tracy McGrady. Being six foot eight inches tall, there is no reason why he should be able to do the things he did. Big McGrady had an insane leaping ability that almost seemed like it ran in the family. T Mac was also wicked fast, and it made it extremely hard for defenders to stay in front of him. Don't believe me? Go ask Kobe Bryant. The guy that always gave me the most problems, actually, you know, McGrady had all the skills and all the athleticism. Um, he was six nine. He said it in an interview, or go ask Bruce Rollin in the San Antonio Spurs. I don't know about you guys, but T-Mac was definitely one of the most fun players to watch in NBA history. Kobe Bryant. Then they'll do it one more time. In his prime, he was one of the most fun players to watch. Why? Well, he would literally posterize anyone and anything that stood in his way. Just ask Dwight Howard. Kobe Bryant was incredibly fast with a leaping ability most players could only dream of and the hang time of a hawk. There is no question Kobe is one of the most athletic players in NBA history. Dwayne Wade. Now this guy's one of my favorites ever. He was literally given the nickname The Flash because he was so quick that defenders simply could not stay in front of him. Even if you double teamed him, he was too fast to handle. D Wade also did something that Michael Jordan did a lot. There were times where it looked like Dwayne Wade was walking in the air. His hang time was ridiculous in his prime. Open area inside, drives hard, draws the foul. Oh, oh. on the shot. And then the finish. Add that with his incredible leaping ability and superhero strength, and you have one of the most athletic players in NBA history. Derrick Rose. Stop it! Stop it! You're not doing like that! What are you doing, Dragon? Before all of his injuries, Derrick Rose was one of the scariest players to guard. Why? Well, he can easily blow by you with his quickness and agility, and if you somehow, some way stayed in front of him, he will contort his body mid-air to finish for the bucket. Three on two, Rose. He has 13 points and 5 assists. Either that, or he will just dunk on your head. Just go ask Goran Dragic. Derrick Rose was just too quick and agile with a very insane vertical leap. It is really sad that we didn't get to see him reach his full potential due to injury. Dwight Howard. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, you win! You win, young fella! You win! Superman! Dwight Howard is probably the most athletic big man in NBA history. He put up some dunks that no 6 foot 11 man should be able to do. Like the time he threw it off the backboard, tapped it with his left hand off the backboard again while in the air for the dunk. Oh! I think I'm leaving! I'm leaving the building! I've never seen that. Oh! oh. Or the time he dunked on a 12 foot rim with ease, two handed. Or the Superman dunk, or all of the alley oops and posters that he has created. He's one of the best shot blockers of all time. No matter what you did in the air to try and protect the ball, he was still going to swat it to the stands. Dr. J. And I think with the doctor, yes, he's got it. He here he comes. Ray rock the baby to sleep and slam dunk. Remember the movie Back to the Future? Well, that is what Dr. J was because he was so ahead of his time. Dr. J revolutionized the way the game was played and his all-time great dunks paved the way for modern NBA superstars. While most people were laying the ball up in his era, he was dunking. And I'm not talking simple two-hand dunks. I mean dunking on people's heads doing windmills and cradles. It was ridiculous. Kevin Durant. Durant! Mr. Durant is simply a freak of nature. There is no reason why a 6 foot 9 inch giant with a 7 foot 5 wingspan should be able to run as fast as he can. There is no reason why he should be able to jump as high as he does or be as quick and fast as he is. There is no explanation other than hard work of course, but still, he is a freak of nature. The NBA has never seen a player of his size doing what he is doing, and it is truly a blessing to watch. Dominique Wilkins. Off the knee in the lane, he drives a jam. Oh, what a drive by Dominique. 
Another all-time great who was ahead of his time, Dominique wasn't just a flash dunker, he was a power dunker. He would reverse double clutch with power. The sound of his dunk sounded like mini explosions going off in the arena. He is easily one of the best dunkers of all time, Nate Robinson. So I talked about Durant being 6'9", being able to do what a 6'4 guard can do, but what about a 5'9 little man doing what a 6'6 2 guard should do? Nate Robinson is one of the best dunkers of all time. The things he would do in the dunk contest were out of this world for someone in his size, like jumping over a 7 footer. He is incredibly strong with a vertical leap that can touch Mars. Truly, truly a blessing to watch. Gerald Green. The, it's still out. He takes the ball. He, he blew it out. He blew it out. He blew it out, Chuck. Blew it, Chuck. He blew the candle blew out. The candle out. <laughs> Gel Green probably has the highest vertical leap on this list, and the type of dunks he does is simply amazing. And I'm not just talking about dunk contest dunks. I mean in-game dunks, where he windmills with his head above the rim. On the run, two on one. Green the finish. Wow, the alley is it. Down, wound up, and I remember seeing him live once back in the old New Jersey Net days. It was probably four or five years ago. And Marshawn Brooks threw a lob that looked a little too high, but he somehow managed to catch the ball and not only dunk it, but windmill the ball with his head above the rim. I was absolutely blown away. Russell Westbrook. Steal, and here comes a show. Words can't describe how fun it is to watch Russell Westbrook. He's a 6'3 little man with the jumping ability of a 6'6 two guard. He has an explosiveness so ridiculous that the league has never seen anyone like him before. And on top of that, he doesn't just throw down little baby dunks that are flashy. He absolutely destroys the rim, like Dominique type power. He was without a doubt one of the most fun and athletic players to watch in the NBA. LeBron James. Now I said there was no order on this list, but LeBron is the most athletic player in NBA history. The NBA has never seen a player of his size and weight, you know, 6'8", 250, run as fast as he does, jump as high as he does, or dunk with the ferocious power that he does. I mean, he also mastered the art of the chase down block, and he jumped over and dunked on someone in the middle of a game. He is definitely the best athlete the NBA has ever seen, and one of the best athletes the world has ever seen in any sport. Vince Carter. Got it. Carter drops. Oh! Remember when I said LeBron dunked over someone mid-game? Well, that was a six-footer. So imagine someone two inches shorter than LeBron jumping over and dunking on a seven-footer. That is insane. Vince Carter is the best dunker in NBA history, and him and his cousin Tracy McGrady excited the league in the 90s and early 2000s with ridiculous alley-oops and dunks which is why I said it ran in the family. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. And if you would like a part two, let me know. Just know I didn't forget about players like Sean Kemp or Spud Webb and plenty more. I just saved them for a possible part two if you guys would like it. So let me know in the comment section below. Anyway, thank you for watching. And as always, stay awesome and keep moving forward.